Hello Techies. So today in this video we are going to learn about RC filter. What is uh, 3 dB frequency, what is cutoff frequency and uh, we will try to simulate this uh, RC filter and see the res results. So let's uh, plot the RC filter. So here I am going to uh, draw the simple schematic of uh, RC filter and uh, the simulation that I am going to run is uh, AC analysis and not the transient analysis. So AC analysis uh, will uh, give us the information about the frequency and its magnitude in terms of uh, dB or gain. It depends on what dimension you want your output. So let's take some voltage source and uh, for AC analysis we do none here and uh, AC amplitude as one. Okay and uh, let's take some random value for this uh, R and C uh, filter. So let's say we choose R value of 10k and we will try to understand in the later part of this video that uh, how to choose uh, this R and C value. And let's take 0. Point, uh, let's let's take 1. 0. 0.1 micro ohm. So everything we have taken here and uh, let's simulate this. So now we have to run uh, AC analysis and we'll type of sweep will take as linear number of points is nothing but uh, resolution that you want in your plot let's say start frequency is uh, 1 hertz and uh, stop frequency maybe you can take take around uh, 1000 k ok so now we have plotted let's plot the output value here so as we can see here that uh, Uh, this is the output uh, uh, value analysis in terms of uh, frequency and uh, what we are seeing here is let's directly jump to minus 3 dB frequency so minus 3 dB frequency we can see here which is something around 857 hertz so we have chosen our RC filter such that cutoff frequency is uh, 857 hertz and this cutoff frequency or minus 3 dB frequency is something uh, that we choose uh, as a cutoff frequency because uh, the output power reduces to half or uh, output voltage magnitude reduces to 70% that is, that is we get only 30% uh, of the input uh, voltage at the output so 30 percent of input voltage at the output and 50 percent of the power so this is a general uh, standard criteria that we decide that uh, this is the threshold for our band pass filter that uh, what will be the lower limit what will be the upper limit so plus minus 3 dB is the limit for band pass filter but uh, what we are simulating here is uh, low pass filter so we can also calculate uh, what is the 3 dB frequency we can directly jump over to excel and see so R value is uh, 10k and uh, C value is uh, 0 0.1 uh, uh, micro and uh, cutoff frequency formula is uh, directly 1 divided by uh, 2 pi rc where rc is nothing but a time constant here so we can directly calculate here uh, what will be the time constant so 1 divided by uh, 2 into 3.14 here and uh, we can also extend this 3.14 R is 10 
and uh, C is uh, 0.1 micro so this is uh, 10k and uh, that is 1 so that will come as kilohertz so this is kilohertz this is kilo and this is uh, micro so this will come as a kilo okay so since this kilo how much value in hertz just multiply it 2000 so around 160 hertz is the cutoff frequency jumping over to some so my calculation says that uh, 160 is the uh, cutoff frequency and uh, let's see in the simulation how much uh, cutoff frequency we are getting so moving over to minus 3 dB so approximately more or less is same if we see minus uh, 3 dB frequency we are getting around 157 now while measuring this uh, 3 dB frequency in the LT, LT spice there is a trick actually so there is a special setting and very important setting that you need to take care while measuring otherwise you will get confused whether your simulation results is matching with your calculation or not and that trick is this in the simulation command so the number of points that you have to take is uh, thousand so thousand gives the accurate point actually so let's take uh, 100 here and I run the simulation again and now let's measure how much is the cutoff frequency so minus 3 dB frequency how much we are getting is uh, too much okay at 2.93 at 2 we are getting around 823 hertz which is wrong right now let's take uh, 1000 uh, 10,000 right so this is called over optimization so now we are optimizing the simulation more than required so now minus 3d frequency let's see how much is the point okay so minus 3d gives 161 around or I can do more zoom and uh, see how much is the minus 3d frequency so around 158 and my cutoff frequency is uh, 159.2 so this is still okay and uh, let's take 1000 only and run it again and I will zoom it further and uh, let's see if this is uh, optimized or not minus 3 dB okay so as you can see at minus 3 dB 188 we are getting cutoff frequency but our cal calculation shows that it is 159 so that means that uh, 10,000 is the accurate number of points or resolution so this is very important setting and you need to be very careful while measuring the uh, cutoff frequency using LT spice so this is really important actually so do not underst underestimate the uh, this setting so this is very important setting so yeah so till now uh, we have uh, drawn RC filter we have uh, measured the output value uh, in terms of frequency what is 3d frequency we have seen and especially uh, the settings that are uh, needed in LT spice while measuring and comparing it with the calculations and I have also shown the calculations matching with the simulation mm -hmm.